And we continue the news with other stories. Speak the truth. The cry of residents in Havana Heights in Clarendon this evening amid what they say are false claims by people on social media that individuals in the area are responsible for the attack in Cherry Lane. Details in this report. Havana Heights is located about five minutes drive from Cherry Tree Lane in Clarendon. But based on intelligence, it's even closer to the bloody incident. On Wednesday, the police high command revealed a gun attack in Havana Heights was among several murders linked to the events in Cherry Tree Lane earlier this week. Importantly, the police also said masterminds in prison and overseas orchestrated the mass shooting. Now, residents are relieved the police clarified the latter because they say bloggers and other social media outlets have been sharing wrong information which claim persons in Havana Heights were involved. This residents say has caused great distress to persons in that community. And I also feel it for cherry children, for innocent people lose their life and their loved one. But I think, oh God, man, it's almost three here and I'm a part of the community and I see the family, they mourn and go through it. And I think they need a rest now and... We all have to stop crime and violence or we can, so I think they should stop put out false occupation about the family and find out they know exactly where this is coming from because I'm a resident of the community and I know because we watch news and we know everything and I, I know they know, so they th I think they should stop now. We hear it all over the blogger, we hear it everywhere over your ear where this is coming from. So people is, being, people is taking a deaf ears towards the truth. The residents admit many people in the community are terrified. I'm a resident of the community. I'm scared of my life and I know the family of that quadruple murder afraid of their life too. Everyone in that community afraid of their life. Assistant Commissioner of Police Calvin Allen is the commanding officer in charge of the JCF's Area 3, which comprises Clarendon, a parish which is now under a state of emergency as a consequence of the killings. We will be naturally using that particular tool and all its products towards saturation of the space and to ensure that the citizens feel that sense of safety, that sense of security. Amoy Harriet, TVJ News.